and then what? Like they played number four. He just he gets back out on the floor. What led to you having that stretch in the fourth? And, you know, just letting you go ahead and shot and hit your last four. I think it was 10 points to, to close that out. What was working for you in that, in that last few months? Uh, really just feeding off the energy of the team. Um, obviously, I didn't have it going tonight and missed a lot of shots I felt I could have made. But, you know, you're over there on the bench and you're watching your guys rally. You know, you watch them fighting and, you know, it, it's contagious. So, you know, the ball found energy and ended up making a few shots. But, you know, tough night overall. We we fought, fought hard as a team, down 20 and, and, and brought it back. Um, and that was that story of the game. Guy, third, I know. Uh, Liz, uh, <laughs> I mean, we we keep acting like this is normal. When we go in the locker room after, like, oh, you passed Steve, J uh, Steve Nash, Mark Jackson, game ball. <laughs> it's bigger than that, man. It it really is. And you know, obviously, I knew he was going to be close coming in today, but he passed it by a lot. Um, but I'm just, you know, I'm happy to be a part of it. You know, just being a fan and. And just inspired by it, honestly. You know, I've been, been a fan for a really long time. So it's really fun to see. It's really fun to be a part of it. And, you know, a long time for now, I'll be able to say I got to play with Chris Paul. And then just on top of that, he had a stretch in the fourth where he just doesn't really duck. Mm -hmm. he just took, took, the, took the game over. Maybe speak to what you were seeing. If you were watching that in the side, what you were seeing with him was important to him in that stretch. I mean, he's just taking what the defense gives him. You know, he's dissecting out there and, you know, just being a floor general. You know, they're blitzing him a lot, and he, and he made a lot of plays for other people. And, you know, the times they weren't in there, he made them pay. You know, he, he got to his sweet spots and, and knocked him down. But, you know, we've seen this over and over and over for, for years of him just dissecting defenses. And, you know, you can't, can't keep it consistent or keep doing the same thing to him because he's going to figure it out quickly. Just that one spot, just real quick, real quick. The turnovers in the first half, how much of that – you guys, how much of it was just really wrong with you guys? Um, I mean, I say a little bit of both. We were, we were a little careless, um, me and Chris, honestly, in the first half. You know, we talked about it in the locker room. Um, you know, it's it's just tough. It's something that we gotta we gotta work on, especially myself having six tonight. Some have to be better with, you know, taking care of the ball and, and valuing every possession. Watching now. Uh... Frank and, and Javel especially can sometimes be an experience, but it seems like those guys really sparked you guys. You know, I mean, they just played incredible for a stretch there in the third quarter. What did, what did you think of those guys? I mean, Frank, starting with Frank, just, you know, stepping up to the occasion, hasn't been playing much and, and throwing in the fire and just just ready. That's, you know, that's an impressive way to go about it. And, you know, I think Javel and Chris are finding, a, you know, a chemistry, you know, Every time they get out there, it, get, it gets a little bit better. And, you know, JaVale's being in the right spots and he's getting rewarded. And, you know, you see what he does with it when, when he gets the ball. In the middle, he can make plays too. But, you know, tonight, you know, a couple of incredible dunks that I haven't seen out of many people. On that chemistry note, already this year we've seen uh, a bunch of different games where you and Mikhail have a connection and transition. Is that just you guys playing together as long as you have? Is that – just kind of knowing where he's going to be, knowing he's always going to be leaking out and vice versa. What, what do you, what, how do you explain that connection? Uh, I think he, he understands I'm looking for him. You know, it's, you know, it's a lot easier to run for the ball knowing that you're going to get rewarded. And, you know, I have my eyes on him every time I get in transition. And, you know, you can't, you can't throw those passes to just anybody. You know, Mikhail makes a play usually every time I do it, you know. Sometimes that can result in a turnover, but I trust him enough to lead him out there. And, you know, he's like a wide receiver in transition. So it's, you know, it's pretty fun to play with. Molly, we use the term connector for Frank. How much did it help to happen at that free throw line when they were blitzing Chris, the ball is just wrong? Yeah, he made the right decision almost every time. Um, he got a couple of layups and then a couple of kickouts for wide open shots. So, you know, if teams want to blitz Chris and put two on the ball, you know, having a big that can play make always helps out a lot. At the end of the game, like you have a dunk of your own, like it's back towards the rim. When you have that, like you think, like sense of relief, like oh, the shots aren't falling at the right exact time we need them to fall. Not really. I mean, as long as we're winning, you know that that's what it comes down to for me. Um, obviously, frustrated with myself, especially just missing open shots, missing ones I usually make, but understanding that that's part of the game. 
And, you know, the main objective for me is to, to win the basketball game. And, you know, when you have a full team fighting to, to get back in the game, it'd be selfish to, you know, be worried about a couple of shots that you miss. Do you feel like the new ball is impacting your, your shooting at all? It's different. I mean, I don't, I don't want to make any excuses, but, you know, it's definitely an adjustment. I think the thing with the Wilson balls, each one feels a little bit different, but, you know, not not too bad, but they all feel like they have a different little feel to it. And, you know, I've seen guys talking about it, and it's it's going to have to be an adjustment. I'm sure they're talking about it and figuring out ways to to make it more consistent, but, you know, it, it's part of the game. What you guys use in the past, it just feels the same every time, pretty much. Yeah. That's different. Mm-hmm. Have they re- I saw something that they were going to be reaching out to players to talk to them. Is, is that something you've been like, asked or invited to get feedback on? Uh, not. I haven't. I'm sure Chris will. <laughs> no, um, nah, that's, you know, I'm, I'm sure something will happen. I think they had a meeting about it today, honestly. So, you know, we'll see moving forward what goes on.